Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, back with more Raft gameplay. We are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Well, we're picking up in the morning. I spent the night doing chores. I uh, harvested a few trees. We need to make more trees. Uh, uh, what, what else? What else? What else? I did some cooking. We got some food. I did some smelting. We got some metal ingots. All that good stuff. Uh, but we are still here on this large island because I think we need to, for one thing, we need to, I want to go out and see if we can find another puffer fish to make more explosive powder. But we do have one explosive goo now, having killed one puffer fish yesterday. So now we can turn that explosive goo, we can use the smelter to turn it into explosive powder and then make one charge for our, uh, our our net launcher, net launcher, and then we're going to use that to hopefully capture a llama, which we will then harvest for wool, which will help us make armor, which is going to be a big help uh, when we get to Balboa Island eventually. But for now, let's see, do we have enough wood to do a couple more of these? Okay, and then maybe one more of the large plots, but we'll need a hinge, more planks. Man, I just, you know, just because this game is still in early access, I really feel like devs, it's a little imbalanced in terms of how much wood we need. We need wood for that, 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 those things up there, and that, and to build more. To, to do more building. You need wood for all that stuff. And it, it just gets a little crazy. Like, for example, a minute ago I harvested up all these trees here, right? And it used up the last of my axe. So I needed to make a new axe. And that needed eight wood. Eight wood to make an axe. That I need to gather wood to make more stuff that is being burnt and the wood is constantly being burnt in all these other things. So I don't know. It just feels like wood is a little, a little too demanding in terms of the wood. Uh, it's the only thing that I'm finding decreasing my enjoyment rather than increasing it. Hopefully now we have enough to, we can make some more nails. I could make a hinge, but I think I have one down here already. I have a bunch actually. So let's just grab one of those and then we can make a large crop plot, put down another one of those, plant another tree. Uh, and I have some seeds that'll help us do that here. Yeah, so just on the on the fun scale, right? In terms of how much fun I'm having, the thing that is decreasing my fun on a regular basis is the constant, constant demand for wood. Let that hang over the edge there. I could actually build two of those if I had enough wood, which I do. But again, all the wood we need to plant all this, to create all this stuff that we are going to use to gather more wood is taking wood. Uh, let's, let's make another one as long as there's enough room up there for one more. And yes, I will get like a ladder or something up here eventually, so you don't have to keep jumping on top of the radio receiver to get up here. Oh, shoot. I need another seed. Just here. Get up there. So at this point, we are allegedly, ostensibly, ready to head for Balboa Island. We have an engine... We had a bunch of wood that was gonna let us that, that was gonna let us fuel the that's not gonna work. That was gonna let us fuel the engine to get us where we need to go. Why are you not accepting more water? What's going on here? Um, but the PTSD I'm still experiencing from my last visit to Balboa Island makes me want to hang around here a little bit longer and make sure that we really are truly 100% prepared 
to go there and do that. And here's another reason we need wood, to repair these. And yes, I've done a little bit of upgrading uh, to protect them. Maybe I'll do a little bit more of that right now, in fact, since we're here and we have... Do we have what we need to do one more of those? I think we do. Uh, one more of the, fort of the foundation armors. Let's keep foundationing armoring our, up this area around the the paddle wheel as best we can. That's it. That's. I mean, we have more stuff, but I'm not going to go pick it up right now. Because we now have explosive powder! Woo! And we're going to use the ex explosive powder to create... Oh, shoot. Do we have to research this? Oh, so we can't actually make ammo for our net launcher right now until we research this. Darn it. So I'm going to have to go back out and find another puffer fish, which is fine. That's that's fun. Um, but I don't know if it's going to be that interesting for you guys to watch. So let me just make sure I have enough room in my inventory to pick up some stuff. Let me see if I should eat these. Do I have, am I hungry enough to eat all three of these? No, but one will do. And then drink up some water so that we're full on water and food before we head out. Hang on. Doing chores. Doing chores. Hang in there. Stay with me. Need to do chores. Metal ingot. I'm going to leave that there just so it doesn't take up another spot in my inventory. We got one nail here that we don't really need and everything else we kind of need with us. So let's just do that. And let's try to be sneaky and just do our gathering where Bruce isn't. Although Bruce is here. He's seen us. So let's head to the other side of the island. And yeah, we're going to have to be dealing with that big bird too. So I think that the first puffer fish we found was kind of over in that direction, that away. If it's been long enough, maybe another one has respawned. It might be worth trying again out where we found the first one. But we found the first one basically... The first circuit I made around the island, uh, I guess we just weren't looking deep enough. Because we, the, the one that we found was out a little bit deeper. So let's head out to deeper water as long as Brucey ain't around. We're going to need lots of scrap. I'm going to continue picking up the scrap. I thought I might have just seen a puffer fish over here. There are bubbles floating up. Does that mean puffer fish? No. No. Oop, bubble. Puffer fish? No. All right. So the bubbles are a lie. Don't follow the bubbles. That's not where the puffer fish are. Somebody told me to look for bubbles. And that sort of helped last time. I was able to find a puffer fish by following some bubbles. But apparently, different bubbles. We need different bubbles. Scrap over here. More sand for glass. More clay. Um, I'm going to pick up the clay because you need that for the healing stuff. But really, what I want more important than healing is armor and we have a little bit of leather from killing some warthogs but we also need wool and to get the wool i need the explosive powder to create the charge for the net launcher to capture a llama so a lot of i mean it, as with all survival games you need this but in order to get that, you need these other things. And in order to get those other things, you need the other things. And that's just, that's gameplay progression to the survival game. So I'm fine with that. The only thing I'm not fine with that on is the wood. It's just too freaking punishing. This constant, constant need for wood. and the catch-22s that are involved. To get the wood, you need the wood. To make places to plant wood, you need the wood. So fine on a second or third playthrough, you know all this stuff in advance, but for a new player, man, it's just, whew, it just gets a little tiresome after a while. In my humble opinion,
Did I just drop my... We didn't just break our hook. That hook still had life left in it. What happened? Did I did I hit hit the wrong button and delete it? What happened? Where'd it go? Oh, it's floating above us. Okay, good. Whew. Uh, I, I accidentally dropped it. I just hit the wrong key and, and dropped it. And whatever key that is that drops stuff, that should not be as easy to hit. Devs. It should not be right next to whatever the keys are that we're norm we're using every single day, every time. Ooh, we're a little deep here, taking some damage. Ah, uh, that was the other thing I meant to do before leaving the raft is make another oxygen bottle. We used up our oxygen bottle. Now we don't have an oxygen bottle, and I forgot. So I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. So far, no more pufferfish. There's some bubbles coming up from the bottom. Does that mean there's a pufferfish over here? No, they're just coming up from the bottom. There's more metal ore over here. Oh, there's another little loot spot there for us to check out. It's over this way. Is there a crate here? Something good for us to pick up? I don't know, but there's a lot of scrap lying around. Oh, there, yep, there's a crate. Okay, but let's get the scrap too. A lot of scrap here. And no Brucey. Thank you. Uh, scrap, plank, got vine goo, vine goo, plank, glass, and hinge. All good stuff. And more metal ore right below us. You're fine. Chillax. Uh, getting dark. Sorry, guys. We'll do a little more underwater harvesting here where the darkness doesn't make as much of a difference. Because we're still looking for a freaking puffer fish. I know there was another copper there. I just... I decided we were good enough on copper. That's plenty. More scrap. We're not as deep now, so I don't have to worry about drowning quite as much. More clay, more sand. Okay, I gotta I gotta stop doing that. I got I gotta stop reducing our health <laughs> by staying underwater too long because we're getting a little low now. And yeah, you know, if I was just doing this playthrough on my own, guys, I would be nowhere near ready to go back to Balboa. Uh, based on the experience I had last time, I tried to go there completely unprepared. And I'm still having nightmares about that. Uh, I should really, I really want to spend a lot of time gathering up as much excess surplus material raw materials as I can before heading back over there. I just don't know. Oh, puffer. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I hope this doesn't, get, doesn't kill us. All right. Well, apparently there was a puffer down there and I never saw him and he exploded on us and almost killed us. But that is actually encouraging to me. Maybe another puffer will respawn in the same area here. I just got to be really careful with my health for a moment until it gets back up. Um, I did want to get, there were a couple of, I thought, um, those are copper. All right. I thought I saw a couple of metal ore, but they were copper. Okay. Well, we're in puffer fish territory. Where are we in relation to the raft? Yeah, guys, so what I may do is just do a few more days off camera gathering, just gathering, gathering up as much stuff as I can, building up the raft a little bit, building a bunch more storage. And yes, I do know that you can mount the storage on the walls. Excuse me on the walls, and that is the most efficient way to store stuff.
because it's not taking up any floor space on the raft. But, pardon me, but I have not actually built any walls. We don't have any walls on that raft. Uh, respawn time for animals seems to be, in my experience, about five minutes or less. So why don't we continue doing a little bit of gathering here and then head back over to where the puffer fish was and see if we can get another one. There may be one respawned back where we originally found that first one. Actually, this may be the spot where we found that first one. In which case, the one that just blew itself up was the one that respawned and now it's going to be a few minutes before that one respawns. Okay, guys, finally on my third circuit of the island, it looks like we've found a puffer fish who has respawned. And we will try to shoot him in the faith, face with some arrows. He's dead. Now we can gather up some explosive goo from him. We don't need your puffer head, your fish puffer head. But let's head back and make a net. Unfortunately, we found him right around sundown. So maybe I'm going to wait until morning before we go out and try to capture this llama. But we can go back and try to make the ammo for it right now. Let's do that. And then in the morning, we'll grab a llama. The good news about it taking so long for Mr. Pufferfish to respawn is that some of the trees on the island have also begun to regrow. So I was able to go back out and harvest some of those. Of course, Mr. Birdie Man is still on the hunt for us. There he is. And run or dive. Run and or dive. Just give me a sec. We'll be back at the raft in a second. It's right over there. I don't know if you even have to change direction. It could just be sprinting. That keeps them from hitting us. All right. Now we just got to smelt up this explosive goo. And then what else, what's it going to take then? Where would that be? Under weapons, probably net launcher. So th four stones and four rope. No problemo. And stones, we've got lots. And then as soon as that's done, are you done? Nope, still cooking. I can't pick it up. ingots. What else can I smelt? Uh, oh yeah, and our trees have regrown, so I harvested a bunch more wood. Actually, it looks like they've regrown again. Might be able to go up there and get even more wood, but I really want this. Come on, hurry up. It looks like it's done. Oh, well, because it's explosive goo, so it, it starts as goo. Come on, it's almost done. What else can we be smelting here? Uh, let's drop off the ingot we just made, pick up some more metal, iron, metal, metal ore. And are you ready yet? No, keep going, keep going, keep going. How are we doing on food and water? Okay, let's eat a watermelon or two. And why don't we, as long as we're waiting, just get some uh, more fishies down to cook. Let's hang on to the shark bait. Or the, the shark flesh. And use tilapia instead. So we all love the bottom feeders. Yay, explosive powder! Net canister! I used up all my rope. And net canister, there we go. All right, so we have our, our weapon, our net launcher here. And now we have, I mean, is there, do you have to reload it or? 
How do you reload it? I have M. Oh, oops, I accidentally swapped. I swapped that out, didn't I? Yeah, okay. We need that in our inventory. All right, it's no longer saying no ammo. Oh, it reloaded. Okay, cool. So in the morning... Whoa. Oh, rats. That was just me being clumsy. In the morning, we'll go out and hopefully capture a llama that I am in no way prepared to do anything with. We're gonna, I got to make some room for him to to walk around and I need to make a grass plot for him to feed on, neither of which I have prepared yet. Yeah, I'll try to do that tonight and we'll pick this up in the morning and we'll go capture a llama. Be, be right back. Okay, folks, it is morning. It's time for us to head out and try to capture our first animal using the net launcher. It's not going to be the clucker. It's going to be the llama when we can find him so that we can have wool and make a backpack. Backpack. Yep, there's the llama over there. Uh, but Birdie's going down for some ammo. He's going to be dive bombing us soon. And he missed. Oh, hello. Hello, llama. I, I only have one round here. I really don't want to miss. I'm going to try to make sure that we actually get this right. Whoops, except we're being dive bombed as well. Get out of here. Come here, llama. My llama buddy. Yay! Carry a llama. <laughs> I can I can name him. Well, Lloyd, Lloyd the llama seems pretty right considering it's la llama. All right, and then uh, what do we do with this? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, but we have a llama now. Uh, clearly, we're taking him back to the raft. And then I, I built a little platform, a third-level platform over here, where I guess he's going to go, but I don't have any, any fencing around it. So I don't know, is he going to fall off? Yes. Can I pick him up again? Yes. Um, all right, well, just stay down here for now, then. And please don't fall into the water. Let me build some fencing up here. <sighs> I knew it needed fencing. I should have thought of this. Plank fence. Rope. Uh, same amount. Okay. Hmm. We may want to expand off that way. Well, we can always take this down if we need to. But for now, let's just give him a safe place to hang. Is there a gate? Is there such a thing as a gate? Wooden gate. Okay. 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 E to open the gate. And llama. Hi. Come with me. Come up here. Stay here. Close the gate. And we have shears. I have shears. Let's shear him for some wool. Shears. Where are my shears? There are some shears. I know this raft is a mess. It's it's just a complete mess. Uh, uh, nope. Wait, close that and shear you. Hey, I have one wool now. Great. Now this dude needs stuff to eat. And I think I have everything I need to make a crop plot, a grass plot here for him to feed on. But I don't know. Is that big? Is that enough? Or is that going to... Do I need to plant anything there? I don't even know. Gosh, I hope he's not going to die. All right. Well, I'll do... We're going to call it an episode here. And I'll do a little research and make sure that... <laughs> Lloyd isn't going to die here because we haven't fed him properly. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the <laughs> raft gameplay. Hello, Lloyd. Yeah, you're cute. He looks a little homesick, though. Stay safe, survivors.